Yeah, it's a great shame about what's happening with ITN and all the, the destruction of, of, of local broadcasting. The fact that ITN was set up uh, in order to create a regional voice in broadcasting in Britain has now deserted that because of the economic climate is finding it very difficult to justify the costs of local newsrooms and, and, and local program making. So in the end it boils down now to the, to, as in everything, it's time that the people of, of each region took it all back and did it themselves. And, um, the, the, the model which quite a few people sneer at about um, in America about local cable companies and all the rest of it. Uh, at least there is a fairly vibrant, locally based, locally sourced and locally resourced television service in, in, in small towns in America, which doesn't seem to exist here. And those companies that have tried to do this have never been supported properly. Um, maybe with the um, slight change of, of, of heart that's going on with the government at the moment, it might mean that that could happen here. So how do you know about local television in, in America? What, what well, I spent, I, spent, I spent quite a long time looking at the model that, that existed there, both from purely from private interest but also from professional interest. And, in 1996, uh, went and spent some time actually working with uh, local and regional broadcasting and cable broadcasting in America to understand more about what what public access television in America meant uh, on behalf of the Swedish government, so that um, we could try and replicate the model in Sweden. Uh, it, it's seen by many people as, as a way of revitalising communities across um, wide spaces because that's, that's what it, it's been doing in America. And uh, can you see that working in the UK or in Exeter? Well, there are, are already many examples of where uh, non... The, the, non-ITV, non-BBC broadcast uh, companies have, have set up small units in Cardiff, in Oxford, in, in Manchester, up in Merseyside, uh, I think Birmingham has, has, has played with it. Uh, th there's, been a lot of, there's, there's been a lot of interest in the, uh, an alternative model to the, to this, the, to the the duality of, of the national model that, that exists in Britain. And given the state of the technology, there's, there's no real reason why uh, locally sourced television can't survive and, and in fact prosper alongside the multiplicity of stations that are occurring on the cable and satellite television. And it's, it, it, it's not a matter of it is purely a matter of money. It's not a ma not a matter of technology anymore. What, what about the web, though, Joe? Because I know that in the meantime you've con concentrated. Well, not concentrated, but you have put some clips on YouTube. Yeah, well, that's of, of because what I mean, you've done. again there is a, there's a there's a, a a substantial model for web-based television, IPV, IPTV. Um, the problem, again, largely is that the many of the people who tried to do it are, have either been offshoots of broadcast companies, um, things like ITN Local and other things of that sort, or people who have tried to replicate um, continuous time-based programming uh, and web-based. TV is, doesn't lend itself well to that type of approach. It is more a an episodic uh, type of uh, programming where where you just you just load up a whole range of of files uh, for people to like sift through. 
What, what do you make of the recent uh, policy of a two megabyte target for for the UK by by 2012? Uh, well, two. I've at home, I've all, I'm on cable, so at home I've already got access to a 50 megabyte line. So two megabytes seems to be a bit of a kissing in the wind, frankly. Uh, it, it's not enough to handle streaming video at, at HD quality, and that's what most people will want. Um, split amongst a household of maybe two or three different computers, 2 megabit disappears very rapidly indeed. I always thought, thought that 8 megabit was the absolute minimum that you should be able to sustain. And when you consider that the, if you look at the clusters of, of usage, uh, where are the most users, where is the most broadband availability, there is, a, I would think that 70% of the Web user, permanent web users in this country have already got access to better than two megabit. So, two megabit is is not is not even sensible. It, it should you should add at least one naught to that. Twenty megabit would make sense, but eight two does not. So, are, are you optimistic about the future? What can <laughs> you see uh, happening for Extra TV or something similar? Uh, well, I. With the with the this, well, it's not a decision yet, but a suggestion that some of the license fee might be peeled off uh, to pay for uh, local services. I would hope that it doesn't get just garnered by the ITV companies to pay for a failing model with overpriced and overpaid executives. Uh, that it genuinely gets down to the grassroots, the street level, to um, actually make programs and provide a service to the locality. Uh, that might be good, it might be bad, I don't know. It, it, um, I think we've probably got a few more years to go yet before this all settles itself down and, and we get, we get a, a new uh, concept of, of what constitutes um, the talking box in the corner of the room. Okay. Well, Joe, thank you for that. Yeah. I think that's enough. Okay.